Hi, it's Martin Pauly. Today I'd like to show you how I record audio on my flights for uh, my YouTube videos. Um, that's a question I often get asked. Um, how do I record the ATC and the intercom? And uh, if you've tried doing that with the GoPro camera, there are some accessory cables to uh, tie into the headset, but it doesn't work really all that well. Uh, what I do instead is uh, a little more elaborate, but uh, not really expensive. So uh, something that you should be able to do easily if you uh, would like to do that. This is uh, one of many, many different uh, digital audio recorders uh, that you can buy for under $100. Um, and that can tie into your intercom system in flight. Uh, you see that here, my, my setup on the plane, I have a um, uh, cable that plugs into the uh, headphone output instead of a headset and the other end goes into the digital recorder and um, to make sure that the very powerful headphone uh, signal which is much much stronger than a microphone would be for the recorder uh, is not too much I have uh, two attenuators in there um, depending on your recorder you may be able to uh, skip that and go straight into the recorder, use a limiting function um, to make the levels okay. But uh, from my experience, these two attenuators are, are working very, very well to get the very hot signal from the headphone output to the right range for a um, digital recorder like this one. Once we have everything recorded, the audio from the digital recorder, uh, the video from the GoPros, Everything goes into Final Cut Pro, and uh, then of course they need to be synced up, and uh, the levels need to be balanced so everything sounds just right. And I'll show you how to do that now. All right, here we are in Final Cut Pro, and I uh, imported three files from a recent flight. Uh, the first one is a camera angle uh, that shows me. The second one is a camera angle that um, looks out the front. And then the third file, is the audio that was recorded with the digital audio recorder. Uh, they each have their own audio, so I can play this here. And we gotta find a, a place where there's actually something recorded. Prop, instrument air, oil pressure, amp meter, oil temperature. Number 1836 closed. Number 233 glide still out of service. Actually, Charlie. So you hear this, this records not just my voice or the intercom, but also what I hear over the radio. Anything that uh, the person sitting in the seat listening to a headset plugged in where my uh, audio recorder is plugged in would hear. Uh, then we got, um, we got this video here, this video file, which is the, the camera that shows me. It has... Um, the ambient noise, the engine noise, and it, it also has a little bit of, of my voice, but not loud enough or clear enough to, to really understand. And uh, same with this camera facing forward here. And again, you hear mostly engine noise, um, but my voice is there, it's just not really good to understand. But what we can use my voice for is to uh, synchronize these three files. Um, professional cameras use something like time code to make sure that they uh, are synchronized perfectly. Um, the little GoPro or my cheap audio recorder don't have that, but it's not that hard to do that manually. And let me show you how that works. I'll start with the audio file. I'll make that my my master track here in Final Cut Pro, if you will. And then I'll add the, uh, the other two uh, on top and move them right or left as needed. Uh, but the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna find something in this recording that um, makes a good uh, landmark, if you will, in the audio so that I can synchronize both of these tracks. So let's uh, listen in, you can see here at the uh, the waveform where in the audio there is something to hear. Let's just give this a try. Hi, 
it's Martin Pauly. Flying from my uh, home, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, today to uh, Auburn. It's clearance. Good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, IFR2 Aurora, information echo, ready to copy. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids. So th this one will work great. This is the uh, where I obtained my uh, IFR clearance before departure on the ground. The engine isn't making a whole lot of noise yet. That should be easy to hear in the other video. So starting with this video, I'll drag this on top. And now I'm going to look for that same moment where I asked for my clearance and then I can shift it right or left as needed to make sure that they are aligned, synchronized. Um, I can't use the waveform here. The engine noise is dominating the waveform. Uh, so I'll just have to um, use trial and error to find the right time. Um, So what you see here is uh, we're, we're only a few seconds apart. What you first heard was the audio track with the uh, recording from the intercom. Uh, and then a few seconds behind is the recording from the GoPro. And let's find the moment on the GoPro when I start to talk. right here. So this is the the image, if you will, that belongs to about this this time here on the waveform. And uh, what I'm going to do is move this over to here. And that should sound much better and look much better. CC Nervous Clearance, good morning. Bonanza 70, Tingle Bravo, IFR2, Aurora, Information Echo, ready to copy. Okay, almost there. It's, it's not quite yet. One of them you can hear starts earlier than the other. So let's listen to this again and see which way we need to move it. CC Nervous Clearance, good morning. Sounds to me like what's coming from the GoPro is a little too soon, too early, so we'll nudge this over to the right a little bit. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Um, and you can also see that the, the, the lip sync looks pretty good. Good morning, Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo, IFR2, Aurora, Information Echo, ready to copy. Okay, now we'll do the same thing with the other camera angle, the one looking to the front. What I'm going to do is temporarily disable the one we just worked on. And we will, uh, of course, not see my, my lips move, but uh, we will hear the same audio from obtaining the clearance that was recorded by this GoPro and uh, align it in the same way with the uh, uh, main audio track here at the bottom. So let's see where we are. Good morning, Bonanza 70, Tingle Bravo, IFR2, Aurora, Information Echo, ready to copy. Okay, so it sounds like we need to move it a, a second or two to the right. Good morning, Bonanza 70. Well, maybe I moved it the wrong way. Oh, it needs to be more to the right. Oh, 
that sounds like we have it pretty close. Um, all right, now let me enable uh, this again for all three audios. Okay, we got good alignment now. Um, one thing that's still not working so well is um, the engine noise is way too high. So what I am gonna do is I will turn the audio off from one of these cameras and turn it down quite a bit from the other and um, see if that sounds better. Sea Rapids clearance, good morning Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo IFR2 Aurora information echo ready to copy. All right, that makes it a lot easier to understand. We still have the engine noise. We want the engine noise, but we don't want it to, to dominate things. Uh, the other thing you probably noticed is that my uh, recording from the GoPro is on the left channel only, if you're listening to this uh, in, in stereo. And um, we don't want that. We want it to be in the center. Sea Rapids clearance. Good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo IFR2 Aurora Information Echo. Ready to copy. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids clearance. Good morning, clear to Aurora Airport as filed. Okay, and let's see how that works uh, further, further down the road. Should be getting our Oh yeah, I was waiting for an arrival here and then our takeoff clearance should come here. Endeavour 4104, turn left Alpha 5, contact ground. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, runway 9 -er, proceed on course Aurora, clear for takeoff. Runway 9 -er, on course to Aurora, clear for takeoff, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Landing light and strobes are on, clear on approach, clear on the runway. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It's uh, leaving 1,900, climbing 5,000. Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids, departure radar contact. And, and even in flight here, you can hear the engine noise is, is still there. You can clearly hear it's the uh, RPM for, for climb or cruise, not idle on the ground, but uh, Everything is easy to understand and, and works pretty well. Um, one other thing I want to show you while we're here is now that we have this all aligned, uh, I'm going to uh, to clean up the um, these three items so that they're all. Um, aligned or in time and I am um, going to create a, a new clip I'll call this one front camera and I'll call this one the me camera uh, that makes more sense when uh, the recording is broken up into multiple files uh, I do need to do it right now to uh, uh, to uh, cheat Final Cut Pro into thinking that these are the same time cone. Basically, what I did is I, I created a uh, new a couple of clips here uh, that uh, lose the timing information from the original clip. And uh, what I can do then is I can take the front camera and me camera and make a multicam clip. We'll call that simply flight. And uh, if I now delete these from the timeline and replace it with this flight one, And show these uh, these multicam angles. Here we go. Um, 
let's see, we want the audio from the me camera always. And what I can do then is uh, cut between them. Oops. And then depending on what happens, I can go from the angle I'm showing to the other angle. Hi, it's Martin Pauly. Flying from my uh, home, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, today to uh, Aurora, Illinois, uh, to drop off the airplane at an avionics shop in Aurora for my ADSP installation. So today was the last time I used my, uh, I set a score code in my uh, OC transponder. And so on, we can go right, guys. fast forward here. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, runway 9 -er, proceed on course Aurora, clear for takeoff. Runway 9 -er, on course to Aurora, clear for takeoff, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Landing line strobes are on, clear on approach, clear on the runway. And uh, using this multicam uh, feature from Final Cut Pro makes it makes it really easy to go uh, to switch between the different angles and um, show you the camera that that has the most interesting picture at any given time. So that's the secret behind the audio recording. Um, not much to it. It's uh, it's very cheap hardware. If you want to get this, the uh, uh, recorder, like I said, is uh, under a hundred dollars. You can get really good ones. Uh, the cables are very cheap, uh, the attenuators, if they're required for a recorder, are also uh, fairly inexpensive. And uh, it makes the recording a lot better uh, than just through a GoPro or similar camera. It gives you a lot more choices later to uh, change, for example, the relative uh, levels of your engine. The 7 Tango Bravo, runway nine -er. And uh, your intercom, for example. So um, you don't need to get it perfect at the time you fly. You can take all your time later when you edit the video to make it perfect.